what's good everybody welcome back so in this video we doing a leveling kit on the on this nissan sorry about that so the kit that they have is uh, these uh front blocks with spacers uh which are let me see i think it's a three three inch spacers on the front two inch blocks on the back <clears throat> and on the back it's gonna be like uh like original factory wise which it, it probably gonna be a little bit more um more up on the back hopefully not sometimes you know it's the same thing but <clears throat> it just depends on the leveling kit so we're gonna show you guys how to uh, install this so let's get to it <clears throat> so as you guys can see I already have it jacked up make sure you guys put in Jackson as well because we are gonna be taking we are gonna be using that jack uh, a little bit later on so <clears throat> sorry so we are gonna need you only need one jack but I got two I got uh, one on that I already jacked up and uh, on Jackson's as well so first thing go ahead and take out the wheel of course and has it take out this cutter pin right here because we are gonna be losing it from here and here from the control arm uh, what else so yeah let's go ahead and start by taking out the cutter pins here and here and let me see once I get back I'll tell you guys what sockets you guys need and what else uh, but yeah just be careful whenever you're doing the job like I always tell you guys uh, make sure you guys do it in a flat, flat surface uh, you know because it is kind of dangerous when you do it um, on an incline but yeah let me get uh let me get this going and uh, I'll get back to you guys right now not right here and this one right here that's gonna be either a 22 millimeter if you don't have that then it's gonna be a 7 8 and I'm gonna show you guys real quick so if you have an impact even better if you don't that's all right so you see how easy it is so the easiest way they do have tools to to uh, loosen these up but um, what's it called I don't have it at the moment so what I usually do is just get a hammer and just hit it right here if, if it don't come out uh, hitting it right here uh, just go ahead and hit it right here on top one good time that way you don't damage the <clears throat> the threads or anything like that so let me see if this one comes out that way you guys can see so you see it already loosened up I do leave this uh, nut right here that way whenever I, I hit it right here on top it don't falls all the way down um, that's if it don't comes out if I hit it here so whenever you're trying to hit it man just go ahead and hit it uh, uh, really good uh, hits that way you don't keep hitting it so yeah I'm gonna take this off and just move it out the way and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this one off right now and and after that you guys want to remove let me see if you guys can see it it has a bolt right here holding the the speed sensor the wheel speed sensor which is this one right here and go ahead and remove that one right there and go ahead and remove this connection right here so when I come back I'm gonna have this uh, this bolt uh, loosened up already and this connection taken on and on this one just go ahead and loosen it up and uh, go ahead and uh, uh, what's it called? Let me see. The easiest way. Let me let me go ahead and do it and show you guys right now. That way you guys, you know, don't go ahead of me. But let me be, be right back and show you guys. Okay, guys. So we disconnected it already from here. And this uh, bolt right here. Let me see. For this bracket, it wasn't a, uh, a 10. It was a 12. Um... So yeah, I told you guys loosen this up and just um, put the, the nut all the way down just like this. Uh, let me show you. You see the threads are right here. Just go ahead and uh, put it all the way down. Put your finger that way. It can be aligned with the threads. You don't really have to do it like that, but as long as it's, it's like that down uh, because we are going to hit it. 
so before anything let me go ahead and just do this and what I usually do is put a jack under and just put a jack uh, under the lower control arm just like that don't go uh, don't raise it up all the way just enough until you hit the control arm and just go ahead and do it like, yeah, I'll say one uh, one pump I guess and the way I always do this I go ahead and uh, hit hit it right here on the on the spindle and and then it's gonna come loose from the controller just like that sorry but that is just a lot of dust that came out uh, so yeah and to take out this nut I go ahead and uh, just kind of uh, put the control arm and then just take it off and then the control arm is gonna come down uh, and then after that, I go ahead and uh, take this uh, nut out, and that's gonna be a 17 millimeter. Uh, what else? And this one right here, you're gonna take it off, and that's gonna be a 19 millimeter. And to take this one off, I went ahead and took it off already. So let me see. Let me get that nut first. So. When you take it out, it is gonna be, you know, kind of stuck because of the ability link. Sorry about that. Getting all confused today, man. So if it's kind of stuck like that, just go ahead and uh, raise the, the truck up a little bit. And sometimes you gotta raise it up or sometimes you gotta put it down. But I think it's, I gotta raise it up. It's kind of hard to do when I'm trying to film. But yeah, I think I gotta take it out. So yeah, it's coming up. I'm just gonna hit it a little bit just to help me out. So just like that. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up. Um, just loosen up the nut. Don't take it out yet, cause uh, it does have a little bit of tension here. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that up. Take that nut out, and then I'm gonna. Uh, Okay, so I'm gonna take these bolts out, which those are a 14 millimeter, and it has three, one here, one here in the front, and one on the back. So go ahead and take those out and do, uh, take that note out as well. And let me take that out and I'll get back to you guys right now. And I'm gonna take this uh, this note out as well. Let me see if, uh, if I can take it out while I have you guys. As you guys can see that's how it's gonna look and like I said I'm gonna loosen these out I'm gonna take these out completely the nuts and I'm gonna take this one out as well don't know uh, take this out uh, the bowl because like I said you're not gonna be able to right now so I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way and simplest way that way you guys don't struggle or anything like that let me go ahead and do that real quick um, so yeah this bowl right here uh, you're gonna need um, vice grips that way it don't keep spinning when you're taking out that nut and I went ahead and remove the top ones as well as you guys can see it's one there one there one there so let me take this uh, vice grips away so this is where the jack comes in handy like I said I'm gonna show you guys real quick where I have it under the, um, the control arm so like I said don't take out that nut I mean that bolt right there until so right now what you want to do is go ahead and lower the, the jack and you're going to see you're going to see it coming down. So this line right here for the brake line it's not too it's not too stretched so I'm not too worried about it. So as you guys can see that line is still it don't have so it's not too stretched either. So the jack is all the way down already and as you guys can see all that clearance that you have so now you can take out that bolt they don't have no tension or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that let me see if I can do it with one hand so as you guys can see right here uh, it's hitting the this bar so what I'm gonna do is just uh, go ahead and lower the jack a little bit more 
and you can just press it down and take it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you guys right now whenever I put the, the spacer on top how it looks and to install it it's just reverse you know don't forget to put anything back so make sure you guys um, put all the bolts back and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the back as well on the blocks which is really easy man I found a way that you know I probably can put one block in like five minutes or so and you know if you guys never seen that before you better man like this video because if not I'll take it down and nah, I'm just playing man but yeah um, I haven't seen that trick uh, on any video that anybody uses it but if you know if you're gonna use it man I really appreciate for if you guys uh, subscribe and like the video and make sure to comment if it helped you but yeah let me go ahead and uh, remove this and show you guys real quick okay so those three are the bolts that are gonna be holding this uh, spacer right here and this is how the spacer looks it has three and it doesn't come well this specific one doesn't come with these on so you just gotta thread them and whenever what's it called whenever you do install the other bolts I mean the nuts it's gonna go ahead and uh, tighten these up real good so you don't gotta worry about uh, them being tight right now you know it also has this right here which you can use as well to tighten them a little bit better but I kind of do it the other way because it kind of works a little bit better but like I said you can do it uh, this way and then do it the other way too which I uh, put this one the other way around but no biggie um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up like this as well just to be on the safe side but if you guys don't have this whenever you put the, the bolt I mean the nut sorry uh, it's gonna go ahead and uh, tighten it even better um, so yeah just go ahead and install this one just um, just like that and go ahead and uh, put the, the nuts in there go ahead and tighten them up and then go ahead and put everything back but yeah man this jack helps a lot if you put it under because the same thing this thing right here is really heavy to be able to you know raise it up with one hand and you know trying to put it all the way there um but yeah the same thing same process put that jack under that way it can help you push it up whenever you put in this um this strut up there so yeah let me go ahead and finish this one up let me go ahead and put everything back together and i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take out the wheel on the back make sure um you guys you know have jack stands and a separate jack because it does help especially on the back as well especially if you have a big jack like this uh, and if you do this so often make sure you know just invest on yourself man and it's gonna be much easier on you but yeah let me go ahead and put this back i'll show you guys how it looks at the end and i'm gonna show you guys on the back as well okay baby we back so this is gonna be a live hack to put rear blocks you know if if you guys don't uh, think this is pretty badass and simple then I don't know what it is <laughs> and you guys better like subscribe if you haven't turn on notifications and comment below you know what you guys think of this little hack but so what you guys want to do first go ahead and check it up put a jack stand and you definitely need a jack set for the back and if you guys have one of these jacks even better and you're also gonna need one of these bad boys right here which you know I've been having it for a while now I need a new one but this is tr treated wood so you know it's even stronger uh, I have it back in my truck if it uh, gets wet it don't even matter because it's treated so this is a 4x4 four four. Uh, the land I'm not too sure on it but just go ahead it doesn't have to be exactly this long uh, I mean this short it can be a little bit longer but so go ahead and jack it up make sure uh, put jack stand and then uh, I went ahead and removed the bolts already so uh, you don't have to do both sides I think doing one side at, at a time it's even uh, easier and this uh, way that I'm doing it it, it doesn't even take uh, not even 10 minutes if you have the right tools like I said, um, those uh, nut, uh, nuts are gonna be 18 millimeters. So go ahead and take those out. And I already took them out, like I said. So let me take the U bolts out. And so the next thing 
when you take the put the jack under to bring the the jack on this side i always do it like on on the side that goes to the cab and stuff not the end of the bed so let me see if i can do it a little bit good okay so go ahead and uh put the wood right there and just go ahead and line it up real good for it not to move so let me see so I'll put it right here, put it even, like this right here is really good. So make sure it's not too on that side, not too on this side. So just go ahead and lift it up and I'm gonna show you guys. As I'm lifting it up, it's gonna raise the leaf springs. If I can do it, I'm trying to show you guys. So. As you guys can see, you see that clearance? Most of the time it has a, a block on the rear uh, stock, um, stock suspension. But since we're gonna be adding some, uh, some blocks, we're gonna have to race it up pretty good. And I also have another hack uh, in case the, the differential moves or it's not aligning up. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna show that on this video, but if you guys ever had that issue, just go ahead and comment below if you run through my uh, through my channel. So as you guys can see that clearance, this didn't even took that long, man. And it's the easy, easiest way to install any block, you know? And the block you're gonna wanna install it, the, um, you see how it is? One side is shorter, the shorter part you're gonna want to install it towards the cab side, and it has a hole right there. And this is for that hole, and then on the top, which it has one of these on the top as well. So you gotta be real careful though uh, when you're installing these. Make sure just to put it in like that, don't even put your hand under the leaf springs. If you do, just go ahead and do this. That way, if the leaf springs fall, it's not gonna grab your finger or anything. So, um, I still gotta raise it up just a little bit more. And I do have a 4x4 because it's really strong. So, let's see. so, as you guys can see, I'm putting my hand under and just like that. Like, just like that. So, you see that little thing on mine is not lining up real good. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you guys this, but what I usually do is uh, go ahead and uh, untwist the jack, make sure it's coming down really slow. I even raise it up just a little bit more to have a little bit more time to do it, but I go ahead and let me see if uh, I can do it. So I'm gonna lower the jack just enough for it to lower it down. Uh, really slow, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right quick. See, it's kind of lowering right now, so I kind of raise the block just like that and kind of line it up. And then once it's in there, it's gonna line up to the bottom as well. So, you see, it's coming down and it's already lined up. And if it doesn't fall on the hole properly, you can just hit it with the hammer a little bit. But yeah, that's about it, man. Uh, like I said, this is the life hack, life hack of the year, man. And if you guys enjoyed this, uh, just click, give it a like, uh, subscribe. Once again, man, sorry to keep telling you guys, but I would really appreciate that. And yeah, uh, let me get um, done with this job. Let me go ahead and do the other side, and I'll show you guys the, the finished progress. Just stay tuned. All right, we all done for this job. So this is how it looks. Uh, two inch blocks on the back and I believe it was three inch spacers on the front and that's how it looks for everybody out there that's you know trying to get a leveling kit for this one so yeah that's how the stance looks it looks pretty nice and the customer it is gonna put I believe 32 she said but yeah that's about it for this video if you guys enjoyed and if this video was helpful like I keep mentioning, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications and comment as well. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.